Hello and welcome to another update video about uh, Solana. Solana, together with the entire crypto sector today, exp experienced quite a sharp sell-off. However, we don't have to change the scenario yet. We want to talk about the relevant levels for risk management and also the structures that we're dealing with here. So I still have it on the chart here, the previous scenario. I mean, we had two anyway. But the one that has been invalidated was the yellow one in which the wave 4 already bottomed on the 20th of March. So this definitely was invalidated due to the break below that low. So we have to assume that the wave 4 is still unfolding, which is and was previously also the white scenario. The lower support area hasn't changed, but the upper support area, which would have been relevant for the yellow count, that did break. So we are now in the lower support area and I can actually delete this white wave four and shift this one here. So this is sort of the idea that we are still in a fourth wave, definitely can still justify that, but it's obviously now really time for Solana to turn around. Um, a break below the 50% FIP level at $143 would already challenge the assumption that we can get a fifth wave to the upside of a larger fifth of a larger third. But it takes a break below $131 to, to clearly shift probabilities towards a top is already in. So looking at the overall structure, as you might remember from previous updates, the communication is that the largest or the highest probability element of this rally is done to the upside, obviously. And the last bit to the upside would be just this last fifth wave of a third then we should get a much more substantial wave for pullback, possibly even below $100. If we get a break below $131 now, it would rather indicate the top is already in. Um, but until then, I'm leaning towards one more high and another rally possibly into the region between $226 to $237 next. Looking at the microstructure, um, the idea is that we have completed an A, B, C, that C wave, however, <clears throat> needs to be complete now, really. Yeah, maybe one more low, but then ideally it's holding the intraday low. Ideally it does. It's a five wave move down in wave C. The fifth wave is very much extended. Bit unusual, not invalid. And on a day like that, where most altcoins soft sold off dramatically, I think we can say, okay, sometimes on days like these, the charts produce some distortions. But yeah, it, it could also be something different. I mean, it really depends on whether the support area is holding or not. That's what the market has to tell us. At the moment, I have no indication really that a low is in, but crypto charts can turn around at an instant. If we look at the structure here, a good confirmation that a low is in would be a break above the way four high, which was put in place here at $176.40. But already a break above the 50% retracement of the decline would be an early indication that a low has formed. This is um, this resistance area between $158 and $154. It's not super reliable, but if we get a break above $158, it already indicates that some kind of a low is probably formed. At least the more immediate downtrend is over. And yeah, I mean, it can get further extensions to the downside, but um, it, it increases probabilities that a low of sorts is in place. The market reacted to the 50% retracement level so far. That's okay for a fourth wave, but anything below that is very deep for a fourth wave. And yes, we are in a diagonal to the upside. So it is technically possible that the fourth wave goes lower. Yeah, that's why trading diagonals is so difficult. But I myself set a limit to the golden ratio level. It's very rare that a, go um, a wave forward go beyond that level. Even though technically speaking, the invalidation point is the low of the wave two, which is down here at around $98, but that's too far away. I mean, we have to put a limit somewhere. And uh, yeah, so basically what I'm doing here, I'm watching for a reaction and possibly a break above $158. Then it takes a break above the 100, yeah, basically $177 level to confirm that wave five to the upside is unfolding. And if we see that, then uh, I will of course update you but be aware that it might just be one more high only and then we have a larger top in place in this larger degree third wave. So far, yeah, no low in place yet, no confirmation at least of a low and we will see how the market develops overnight. 
It's just that obviously together with the liquidity event, yeah, sometimes on the day after things look completely different. And you know that we were sort of grinding our way through here this correction now for some time without any clear evidence that a low was in. And sometimes we just need those flushes and then the next day or the day after daily candle close, things look completely different. We'll see. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.